Hey everyone, happy Halloween. I was gonna try to go the entire video without explaining the spider on my head, but you know, I just couldn't even last 30 seconds. Since it's Halloween time of year, I thought I would get festive and put a little spider on my head. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? A spider headband. I don't even really like spiders. I'm kind of scared of spiders, but for some reason when you put it on a headband, I'm all over it. And make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm gonna let you in on my three favorite YouTube videos of the month. Not my own, obviously. Three of my favorite videos that I've seen from other people, so stay tuned to the end. Let's just get right into it. My favorite beauty products of October, and I'm gonna start with the thing which everybody already knows. It's my nail polish. This is the Revlon Color Stay Gel Envy Nail Polish in Up the Ante. I don't think I've taken this off all month long. I think I painted it one other color, but pretty much it's been this. This has been the one for me. It's not a very autumn-y shade, but for some reason I just love it. Maybe it's because it kind of brightens my mood a little bit. I've kind of been hinting at the fact that I've been obsessed with a new primer. And it's this. I'm gonna let the cat out of the bag. It's the Body Shop Radiant Highlighter. And I've been using this every single day this month and a little bit last month as well because it's so quick to use and it gives your skin so much luminosity and brightness and it really makes my face look a little bit more alert and awake. And I just use my fingertips to blend it in. I put it all over my face. I especially concentrate on areas like underneath my eyes, on my cheeks and stuff like that. A little bit on my forehead and nose and chin. That, that would, that's my whole face. And then I just put my foundation over top. So whatever foundation I'm using, I pretty much put this on underneath. Speaking of foundations, I love this one. It's the L'Oreal True Match Foundation, and this was a recommendation from my friend Amelia. I'm pretty sure I put this in my drugstore dash video, so if you missed that video, it's kind of like a mini drugstore haul. I'll link it down below. I remember using this years and years ago when I was a little teenager, and I remember really liking it. I don't know what happened, but I, for some reason, used it up and didn't get it again or whatever. And anyway, it's back in my life and I really like it. I've been loving the Beauty Blender as well. So I've actually just used mine this morning. You can see it's a little bit dirty, but basically this is a sponge. You get it wet, you wring it out, and then you blah, 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 all the foundation all over your face. And this little combination is amazing. It looks like skin, and I think that's partially to do with the Beauty Blender, but any sponge will probably do the same thing. It's a great color match for me. It's lightweight, I'm wearing it today. It's kind of like a watery texture, so I feel like you put a little bit on and it just covers so much area, so much surface area, so you don't need too much, but it's also buildable. Mascara-wise, I've been using the Tarte Gifted Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara. I don't know what smart mascara means, but I know that I like it. It's in this really cool bamboo packaging and the wand is pretty simple. I mean, when you actually look at it, it doesn't seem like it would do anything special, but for some reason, the consistency of this mascara is like in love with my eyelashes and you can just build it up and build it up and build it up and it looks amazing. It never gets clumpy. I've seen a few people raving about this recently and I have to agree, this is really good stuff. That being said, if you're looking at my eyelashes now, this can't take all the credit because I tried out Tanya Burr's individual lashes this morning and you know I'm not a lash girl. I'm not a lover of fake eyelashes, but I don't think I've tried individual lashes before and if I have, it was a really long time ago. So Tanya recently launched these lashes into her makeup range and I gave them a go this morning. I put three on the outside of my eyeball like that and I have to say, I think I'm a convert because it like opens up my eyes and it gives, it gives me eyelashes. And they don't look fake, they don't look like they're too much or anything, and I mean, it's daytime and I'm wearing them, they just, yeah, I like it. I have a blog post all about my individual lash experience, so check the link down below. This was another product in my Drugstore Dash video. It's one of the L'Oreal eyeshadows. This is in the shade Over the Taupe. I got two of these eyeshadows and I like them both, but I feel like I've been using this one a little bit more. It's a really creamy eyeshadow. It's like a pressed pigment, so it's kind of loose, like you kind of like loosen it up if you really wanted to. So it's not super messy like a regular loose pigment would be but they're really, really blendable, and I'm wearing this today. It's just kind of like a normal taupe brown, but with a little bit of something special. Ah! 
my hat just fell down. I had a hat hanging up over there. I'm freaking myself out today. <laughs> anyway, it's a, <laughs> what a little baby scream I just did. Ah, I keep like replaying that in my mind. Anyway, it's like a regular taupe shade, but with a little like reddy brown in there. So it's something special, great for autumn. And I pretty much want to buy every other single color. Every other single color? Every single other color? I can't even think today. I've recently gotten into lip liners, which is another like weird thing I never thought I would be into, but hey who, you know, people change. I have been adoring the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the shade Turn On. Now I know there's that phrase, turn up, turn down, something like that. This is turn on. I am turned on by this lip pencil. It's a gorgeous, rosy, berry shade. And it's so easy to use lip liners. I think lip liners are the way forward. They're so slim, you can put them in your handbag. I pretty much use a lip liner every single day now. So I don't know, like I said, changed woman. Uh, so you just pencil this all over your lips. It looks great on its own because it's a really creamy lip liner, but I also like to put a lip gloss over top. If you take a look at this blog post, you will see that I use this lip pencil and the Clarins lip gloss, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous combo. If I decide not to wear the lip liner and I want something really quick, super easy, I've been loving the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie lip gloss. Now, I haven't heard too much about these. I believe this was a gift from my friend Claire, who I adore and I love. So thank you, Claire. This is in the shade Hot Shot. I know this is kind of like a lame reason to like something, but I love the little wand. It's kind of, it's kind of, it looks like a little foot. I don't know. It's just really nice to apply it because you get a nice smooth application on the lips and it smells minty. Mmm, like it smells very good. It's like a, it's a breath freshener at the same time. And I love the shade. It's a simple pink color, but it's not too baby pink for me or Barbie pink for me. It has a little bit of coral in there. So really like that gloss. For skincare, I'm really into this fresh sugar face polish. So I just take a little bit of that. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. It smells like lemons and brown sugar and I want to eat it, but I won't, but I want to. Just know that. I just take a little teeny tiny little bit of this and rub it all over my face really gently and then I get in the shower and rinse it off. So normally I do this in the morning or if I'm taking a shower in the evening, um, but I just use this once, sometimes twice a week depending and I've noticed a huge difference in the surface skin on my face. It's a lot smoother. I don't have as many little bumps. The Sarah Chapman Morning Facial is Amazing. I love Sarah Chapman's skincare. I think I mentioned that in my empties video. I just really like her skincare, like really like it. My skin loves it. This is basically a facial in a bottle type of thing, a really quick facial in a bottle. So if it's the morning and you feel like you need a little bit of love on your face, that sounds kind of wrong, but if you feel that and you need that, then I suggest this because it's like an oil and a serum and you put it on your face and it does miracles. It just works wonders. But somehow they managed to get a formula that actually sinks in really quickly so it's not like sitting on top of the skin because you don't want to put makeup on top of like oily stuff, you know, that just... That's not gonna fly in my life anyway. So I don't know what kind of scientists they have behind this, but they've managed to kind of make something that does everything the overnight facial does. She's got something called an overnight facial, but for the morning time. And the last product is the Diptyque perfume in Eau Duel. And this is something I've wanted for so long. Shout out to Amelia yet again, because every time I see her, she's wearing this and she smells like a goddess. It smells so good. I hate to be this person, but I wish you could smell this right now. It's like vanilla and also kind of like spicy and sexy and warm and snuggly. And it's potentially one of my favorite Diptyque scents and I love Diptyque, so I am just loving that. Okay, so that's it for the beauty products, but I wanted to start this new thing that's kind of like sharing the love a little bit. The first one is Claire's, who I've mentioned in this video, Claire's fashion video. Claire is a badass bish. She is so cool, it makes me sick. It makes me just want to reevaluate everything about my life. So she did a video of a few of her autumn outfits, and well, just click, 
click on this little box right here because you're gonna know exactly what I mean. It's just like, damn girl, you look amazing. I'm gonna need all of that. So Ingrid slash Miss Glamorazzi also did a fashion video. It's her autumn style video. I have to say, I've always loved Ingrid's fashion videos. Like I think she's amazing at them, but this one in particular, I was like, yes. Her style, I really feel like her style is evolving. I mean, everybody's style is always evolving, but I really think Ingrid is on the path Path. She's actually, she's not on the path, she's already there. Like, her style at the moment is something that I'm obsessed with. Like somehow she's managed to put all these outfits together that are really wearable. Like I would actually wear them and not feel weird in any of them. Can I just have some fashion advice please Ingrid? Like can you just fix this? Because at the moment I'm just, I think I've messed up. I don't think this is cool. I don't know. And my last favorite video was from Jen M Clothes Encounters who I also love. I love Jen so much. I've loved her for like, I've loved her since the beginning of time. Okay, she knows that. She recently did a video all about her loungewear and you know how I feel about pajamas and lounging. So I thought that was such an amazing concept for a video. Like who doesn't want to know what people's pajamas look like? I have to say, Jen, I will never be able to wear hot pajamas like you wear, like that kimono thing you had and the shorts and the tank top. And I was like, I just pretty much wear really ugly pajamas, but but cute, ugly but cute. So those were my three favorite videos of the month. They're not always gonna be fashion related. Obviously I'm gonna throw some beauty ones in there too. Uh, but yeah, I just thought I would do that. I hope this starts a trend. I hope everybody starts doing this and sharing the love and making this community a beautiful, fashionable community. I don't know, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? All right, that's pretty much it for me. I'm gonna wrap it up with my spider. Me and my spider are gonna go have some fun. What am I saying? I don't even know what that potentially means. All right, so I am wrapping it up. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest and blah and blah and blah. I'm at Essie Button all over the world. So I'm really wrapping it up now. I hope you had a great October and a great Halloween and I will see you in the next video. Bye! I've started watching Suits. Me too! I haven't told you yet! Yeah, yeah I've started watching Suits. Yeah. Uh, Harvey. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> Harvey! Whoa! Okay. If you don't watch Suits,